Hi guys, we're off to see some plants, uh, some new ones out in the community for our company. So I'm really, really looking forward Don't to left. that. Um, also, I'm dropping three new videos today. So, Don't left. yeah. And, uh, oh, Johnny's truck's out. Um, so I'd add this, with, I'd add this to the weekly vlog. Um, but anyways, um, if you need us, you can follow our Facebook page for facebook.com forward slash mind mob. You can follow us by our YouTube. You can follow us by Instagram. I think there's a Twitter, but I don't manage that. Someone else manages that. So. Anyways. Um, plus wordpress.com forward slash mindmob, or I think it's wordpress at mindmob.com. Anyways. I'm off, I'm off to go see, um, I'm off to go see our client, and, uh, feeling pretty sore, but, yeah, I'm also going to be dropping Don't a few left. more, um, videos on the channel today, um, you can see the playlist if you're really interested. Don't left. Um, in the fitness, in the fitness videos, which we're going to be discussing uh, today, I'm going to be doing sugar addiction. You can follow that stuff. Um, I've also got a couple of brand new pretend colleagues from my fitness instruction company. Uh, we're dropping. Uh, We've got a brand new Facebook page coming up this week, and uh, there's going to be some live videos. I've already started these diet plans, there's weight uh, weight loss packages, they're right on the way to you. You know who you are. I'm not going to mention any names today. So, anyways, I'm on my way to a client now, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next vid. Viewfinder, image, glasses. Hello, everyone. It's Sunday left. Uh, morning. Well, I don't know if you can call it morning. Yeah. And I'm out with Andy. Wouldn't normally do this. But Andy's Don't left. on the route for a cash machine. Can you tell people why you're on the route for a cash machine, Andy? Because uh, I want a chippy for lunch. Tilt left. Yeah. <laughs> so and I'm getting my fresh air. I'm getting me witch hunting in early. Top left. Oh. <laughs> Have some of that. <coughs> Top left. Hi guys. Just posted a letter for mummy. Andy's just dropped off. We've just dropped Andy off. Imaginary Andy's just been dropped off, so I'm happy with that. Uh, it's just after five o'clock on a Sunday, and yeah, just uh, now we're doing weekly vlogs a very different way, so we're doing. Sunday, any anything interesting that happens in the Sunday, we're doing Monday. So the vlogs will come out, the weekly vlogs will come out on the there'll be two types of vlogs on this channel. There'll be the weekly vlogs which come out um, on the Saturdays. 
there'll be the creative thoughts vlogs which come out on a Fridays and then every other video that I make just comes out when it comes out so it smells very damp I've got my shorts on but I don't really feel the cold much in my legs which is a bit worrying I feel everything else if something hits my leg I freaking feel it but yeah so I might as well just be a bit lazy and do an update on things the company's going really well I've um, made two brand new playlists here on the channel because um, I have a pretend radio station which isn't real but we've used Spreaker which is a great podcasting platform I highly recommend it we use Boss Jock Jr lots of resources out there if you want to do a radio show back in the day if you wanted to do a radio show it was on a cassette tape usually you did a dummy show and then you'd give it to a friend and they would um, they would do whatever I don't like getting my feet wet my feet and my head I don't like getting them wet but everything else don't mind getting wet to be frankly fair the water hitting my legs that's a bit annoying but it's not me. so yeah um yeah, back in the days if you wanted to do like a a radio show and get it out there what you used to do was you used to make a cassette tape and send it to your friends you used to probably mail it and that's what people used to do like dummy shows so a lot of my older shows haven't been heard but all that's gonna change because we've got a series of shows which we're doing and putting those on online I want to talk about podcasting as well and how podcasting has changed the world well not that much but Podcasting and radio is very different things. Two very different things. Because podcasting does a lot more than what radio does. A bit like video and television. But hey, we can discuss that too. So, um, update on the business. Well, we are doing two podcasts. We've done about six um six things already all about 12 updates um lunch wagon needs updating uh, what else needs updating our own website needs updating needs polishing up but we're the only company that has about a team of about five or six people working on about one or two three or four websites because we still work an old-fashioned way we still work the analog way but the new way it's like different like you know the way we do solutions the way we handle solutions you know not everybody out there has got those you know whatever skills they've got i don't like writing for example but i do it i do the bits that i want to do so i'll type the bits i want to type up but i don't like typing reports up all the time but i do you know i write letters and and stuff but i don't do it all the time the stuff that i do all the time are 
the client briefs and the and well I used to do the project briefs but the project the project briefs aren't that's not my job anymore. I do a brief for the project manager. The project manager now because I'm not a project manager anymore. I'm a program manager. Because this is my company, I shouldn't really be a cup project manager. A project manager should really be below me. So the person who was the program manager was like, whoa, what's going on? So now I'm the program manager and I can talk like a program manager. So I get all the people to do my work. I have a secretary. She does my rosemary. She's also head of finance. Does some fantastic work. And... Um, you know, you've got Josh, who is marketer, and he does also, he does promotion, and he also is, um, what else does he do? Um, he does other things. Oh, I should have taken the short route. Uh, but yeah, he does um, HR. Yeah, so he does HR and promotions. Adam is a designer and photographer and promoter and then we've got the coders I would normally shelter, but I'm just gonna just try and. Yo! Hi guys, well, I've just had my. Whoops. My presents and card delivered to me from my good friend Gillian from the Stepping Stones group. So it's Monday, and yeah, not a lot's happened. Yeah. Hello everybody. Now before I unwrap this, I'm going to show you this. Now this is my old man bag, which I got from Debenhams. So I'll just quickly show you what I have in my man bag. Unzipping it, so I've got in this pocket I've got my uh, my leapfrog phone, my keys my another toy phone uh another toy phone um headphones pocket whatever that is anyway i'll sort that bag out in a minute but i'm gonna dump that bag this bag is brand new oh look at that look at that everybody Shining wrapping. Anyway, let's get this open with. Tuesday, by the way. Hang on. I'll um. So we've uh, we're back on the camera, and here it is, the bag in all its former glory. Um. Right. Let's work this all out. You've got a handle there. Come out. Yeah, so your handle. There's the handle. Um, there's the question how big are the pockets? Oh, it's nice and. It's got a funny smell on it. It smells of leather, but it's. 
Gotta. Ah, oh, that's why. To give you all this crap over. It's going in the bin, but why we're doing YouTube? Oh man, look how deep that pocket is. Uh, is there another pocket? Yeah, there's about there's two pockets, but oh man. Oh, wow, this is even deeper. There's no flap on this one like the other one had. But I can throw all my things in it, which is good. Oh, I love a bag I can just throw things in. That's great. Phones. Wow. I'm so happy with this. It's a lot more in depth. Do they give me a little There's a little pocket there, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what that pocket does. Oh blimmin it, that's an even deeper pocket. Cool. Right. I like a deeper pocket, so it all looks nice. There's even... I'll just zip it up. Right. Um, there is a little pocket down there, which I don't think I'm going to make use of. I always worry about the little pockets down. Now, oh, this is like my first bag where it has a little, little pocket there. It's kind of... Uh, still more... Uh, get this pocket open here. This is where the wallet will go. Oh, this is crap over. Um, In here. That she. Yeah, and there's a pocket on the back right here. Just get that open. Oh, look how shiny my bag is. It's really shiny. Ow. Wow. The problem is, right, I've had these types of bags before where I've had bag po ba I can't speak. Where I've had back pockets on. Um, I've never utilised them because they're kind of unuseful to have back pockets on. But, you know, it's probably good for sticking tissues in or money in. I just wish it had a little flap on like uh, my other bag. But it's a bit more smaller, which is nice. I like it. Um, I've got a bag which is smaller than this one. Um, which I'll use when I'm going swimming and stuff. But this is a great... This this bag right here. Um, one thing I've got to test. Will it fit my other smartphone in? Will it, fit, will it hold the VTEC too? Gotta try it. So here's the VTEC. Will the VTEC go in? Oh, let's get the VTEC on camera. There we go. VTEC going in. There you go. VTEC fits in nicely with all the other things. So it's great. I can have that for work. But I've got another bag which I'm going to use for. Whoops. Um. All the bits and pieces so thank you very much mother i like it absolutely love it um take all the crap over upstairs i'm gonna put my wallet in um sort the other bag out and ditch it
Hi guys, I am in a Sukox amusement and since the lockdown you can hear the machines will take you around. There they do. Flashing lights, look. You got all these machines. So if you remember, since the lockdown, uh, we showed you what the town was like. We're in the uh, Sulcox, um Arcade. Wonderful fruit machines are running. This is one of my favourites back in the day. I think this is either lightning or venom. And uh, this just goes to show. That's a claw machine. Uh, what's this one over here? This is one where you put two peas in. And uh, there are machines over there. And uh, yeah, this is just... So yeah, we'll um, take you out of here now. I've been having a bit, a wee bit of a browse in here. If you call it browsing. There's only one way, oh crap, only one way in and one way out of the uh, arcade, I think. We're going out now. We're taking you out of the store. Oh no, there's two ways in. Only one way in. Adders and Ladders, a classic from Barcrest back in the day. Is it that Adders and Ladders? Yeah, this was a. I prefer the MPU3 version to this one. Anyway, it looks like there's only one way in and one way out. So. 
And what's over here? Like there's only I know you can go back into the park. Yeah. Oh thanks. Oh yeah, the door's over here. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just a very quick look at uh, lockdown and how, you know, people are sort of keeping the distance and stuff, but it's very um, less dystopia feeling which is uh, what we want really what we want and uh, and I'm heading now to the pier let's just see if this road's clear Front is so less dystopian than it was a few weeks ago coming down here. Because as you know in lockdown uh, we came to town on 25th of May, but I also came another time as well, because uh, two weeks after that, and uh, it was very, very dystopian. I mean, I can't explain it. It was very, uh, very quiet, to say the least. I mean, there's people keeping the distance and stuff but anyways um, I'm off for a, for a walk I'm not going to show the pier off because it probably isn't as much but as you can see it's you know things are getting back to normal almost wherever normal may be 